Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie, Editor-in-Chief at TheServerSide.com, and I want to talk to you about merge conflicts, explain to you what a merge conflict is, show you how to create a merge conflict, and most importantly, show you how to resolve one. A merge conflict happens when developers work on the same file in different branches and then try and bring those changes together in a single merge operation. A merge conflict appears, Git throws its hands in the air, says, I have no idea how to bring all of these different changes from these different branches together, and the developer is then asked to go in and manually resolve the merge. I'm going to model this example so you can see how a merge conflict comes into existence and also how to reserve it. As you can see, I've got the alpha.html file created here that allows me to come into this state where I have a main master branch with an alpha file on it. I'm going to open up the git bash shell and you can see I start off on the master branch and there's one file named alpha.html and I'm going to create this feature branch here. And that's fairly easily done. All I have to do is say git branch feature and then switch onto that feature branch. Now that I'm on the feature branch, I'm going to make an edit to this alpha.html file. I'm going to say hello world alpha. And you may have also noticed that when I made that change, there was nothing in it originally. So that alpha file that's on that master main branch the file exists, but there's no content in it. But now on the feature branch, there is content. So I'm going to do a git add command and a git commit alpha updated on feature branch. And now I'm going to switch back to the main branch git switch master. And now when I go and edit this alpha.html file, Notice there's nothing in it. So we added some content on the feature branch, but the main branch still has nothing inside of that alpha.html file. But let's add something. Goodbye world from the main branch. Now I'm going to open up the git bash shell again. Do the git add command, git commit dash m. and say the alpha was updated on the main master branch. And now, I can even take a look at my git ref log. You can see that, well, I've updated the alpha file on the feature branch. So there we alpha updated on the feature branch. And also, we've updated the alpha file on the master branch. I can even do a git log graph one line all you can kind of see we've got two different branches here. There's the feature branch. We edited alpha on the feature branch. There's the master or main branch. And we also updated alpha on that master main branch as well. Now we want to bring these two branches together. Right now we are in this state where we've got the alpha.html file edited here. We've got it edited here. We want to get to this situation here where we've got everything merged together. But I'm telling you right now, this is going to cause a merge conflict. And so to merge from the feature branch into the master branch, we move on to the master branch where we are, and we say git merge feature. And watch what happens now. We end up getting this message, and it says you've got a merge conflict, and specifically a merge conflict in the alpha.html branch. So it's not allowing me to merge, and it's putting me in this unmerged state. You can actually see this reference to the fact that we're trying to merge right now. Now how can you complete the merge? Well to complete the merge you have to go and update and edit any of the files that have merge conflicts which means this alpha.html file. Now look at how this alpha.html file has changed. Git has done this. Git has said look this is all of the content from your main branch. Goodbye world from main branch. And this is all the content from the feature branch. Hello world alpha. Git's saying, look, I don't know how to resolve any of this. Like this is your code. There's no computer program that's going to figure out what is right and what is wrong. And as a developer, you have to go in and you have to edit this, change it. If it's source code, make sure that it compiles. If it is unit tests, make sure they pass. I mean, it's a real pain, um, but you have to fix this 
somehow. So maybe I'll say instead of goodbye, I'll say hello. Maybe instead of uh, hello world from main branch, we'll say hello world from alpha. Make these changes, get rid of all of this nuisance stuff here. And now we've do a little save. And with that file saved, well, the merge still isn't resolved. We now have to do a git add and a git commit. Oh, and sorry, I didn't do the dash M switch there. You got to have your code done properly. <laughs> I was just missing that M switch there. And now we do that git commit with the git commit message. And you notice that the merge is now successful. You'll also notice that if I do that git log graph one line all, you'll see that this commit from the feature branch has now been merged into the master branch. So we have essentially resolved that conflict between the feature branch and the master branch, and the master branch now has all of the changes from the feature branch merged into it. It is worth noting though, currently I'm on the master branch, what do you think happens if I go to the feature branch? The feature branch here is not merged with master, even though master is merged with feature. So if I go to the feature branch and I take a look at the alpha file in the feature branch, notice that the changes that happened inside of the master branch are not there. It only says hello world alpha. If we go back to the master branch, and we go and edit the file here, it doesn't say hello world alpha, it says hello world from alpha, which is what we did in order to merge the file. So again, even though master has had its changes merged with feature, feature does not have its changes merged with master, and feature still is at a different commit point than the master branch. And there you go, that's all you need to know about merge conflicts. Now if you enjoy that tutorial, head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there. We got lots of great tutorials on Git, GitHub, DevOps tools, enterprise software development in general. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ. And please subscribe on the YouTube.